Howdy, howdy. I hope everyone is doing okay. I know it's been just a little bit since I shared any information or content regarding this Leosov A18 Plus mini camera. And that's because I've been testing it. I'm not like uh, a lot of content creators out there, these quote-unquote influencers uh, that just get out there and promote products because they make a buck off of it or whatever the case may be. I'm going to put it through the test, and I am going to check it out to my best ability. I'm going to learn about the technology that it is that I'm testing and reviewing, and I'm going to be able to provide for you informational, educational content involving the products that I test or review. I'm not just going to sit here and push products and give you add to cart solutions uh, because I somehow benefit from it. That's not what we do. Um, you know, in full disclosure, Leosov sent me this camera for testing and review, and, uh, and I told them that I would be completely honest. That being said, so far, I really like the device. I really, truly like the device, and the reason why it's taken me a little while to be able to get more content out is because I decided that I was going to take my measly little 32 gigabyte SD card and pop it into the camera it's the only extra one I had laying around and I figured out oh, maybe maybe we might get a couple of days tops and I mean absolute tops as far as recording because the way I have the device currently set up is just to record 24 7 and that's what I advise anybody to do and it is uh, it does have audio turned on on that recording so it's recording both video and audio as as I sit right now and uh, has been doing so for three days. <laughs> so as soon as that gets caught up to where it starts, because it's got loop turned on, so at, at the point in which the card runs out of space, it will automatically start recording over the oldest content. Now that's what I'm waiting for, because that is going to tell me how long of a, a period of time that a 32 gigabyte SD card maximum for this device is 256 mind you but this will tell me how long a 32 gigabyte video or SD card will record video and audio for and then all you have to do is do the math to figure out you know whichever size SD card about how much record time you're going to have I am recording in the ultra high definition the UHD option I am recording in the better of the two options let's get logged in here real quick and let's show you around the app because I can still do that I can show you the app now and even while it's sitting there and doing its thing because it's recording right now we'll click on the little plus thing and it will load it up I'll wave there will be a delay you can kind of see me over here there um there will be a delay you see blue on the futon right um <clears throat> because it is you know going through the wi-fi and all of that so there will be a little bit of a delay from what you see and when i actually waved that's that's a given but it's recording right now as you see it is recording and so let me back out of this view here <clears throat> and Let's go and take a peek at that real quick before I start showing you the other stuff. So I don't have I don't have a cloud account set up. I don't have that. I don't have alarms set up, and I'll explain that in a moment. Um, and I don't have obviously I don't have events. But let's let's click on this here to see what kind of files we got going on here. Again, I don't have a cloud account, so I don't have anything there. It's just all SD card. And so let's click on the calendar down here, and you're going to see three days right there in the blue. That's three days this thing has been recording. So on the 19th, there's the files that are recorded, right? On the 20th, there's the files that it recorded. Today, there's the files so far. <laughs> so... And I don't know exactly how all this, I think it might actually be like the 21st, I think midnight might be the, the last part. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. Um, but nonetheless, 
it's it's been recording for three days and I had spoke on the earlier video about how it would do the one hour increments and you click on that and it opens up your different you know your 10 minute files there is what those are I told you there would be six 10 minute files to equal an hour so that's how it does that and uh, I'm assuming that it's roughly like 15 to 17 there's an 18 megabyte file so um, each 10 minute file is that size I guess you could do the math with that and have a ballpark guess um, but we're gonna see how many days a 32 gigabyte card can store um, I thought that would be a good test so real quick let's go uh, again I don't have a cloud account I can click on that uh, you can purchase one if you like I don't have a cloud account I am NOT going to get a cloud account I'm just saying uh, the alarm I do not have it turned on and we'll turn it on and we'll click confirm and we'll click on oops wait I guess that's not where I do that okay let me turn it back off sorry uh, event I don't even remember for sure on that because I don't have anything set up that that's like your alarm events that's right um, if you've got your alarm turned on because I have tested the alarm feature um, and I'll get to that in a moment um, but um, that is what the events are if, if your uh, if your alarm is triggered then it will store that that in the event so the record play I already showed you that at the bottom here of course we are are currently on the devices tab and uh, the cloud tabs not going to show you anything because I don't have uh, a cloud account here's your library and I really don't uh, you know it shows the local if I if I pull stuff up here I don't have anything in here because I haven't taken pictures and stuff so but then here's the me this is your account and of course you see you know me and my name the watchman and I'm gonna click on that and you're gonna see you can't I haven't figured out a way to change the avatar so um, but you can change your nickname right you make your nickname whatever you want I chose the watchman and then you can choose an account name and and that's all you got to do go in here put whatever name you want and then click confirm right uh, the account I can't click on that because you can only set that once and I already did that this morning so and you can only set that once so I can't get back there and show you but it's essentially the same thing initially there's nothing in there you just come in here you click on you put in what you want and click confirm and uh, and then it will be there but you can't change that so once it's there it's there I am NOT showing you the QR code for obvious reasons uh, account mailbox this is uh, you know the watchman news at yahoo.com is what that's for I don't have a backup email entered and of course you can change your password or you can get rid of your cancel your account uh, and of course log out is an option so I wanted to show you on the profile there again I don't have uh, a cloud service and uh, with or without a lisp I don't <laughs> have a, a cloud service um, and then this is for setting up your alarm notification stuff and I have got all of this off right now to be honest uh, let me show you on that real quick well before we do we still got more stuff here I've got the app set was it the app settings or were we oh yeah we were just there I showed you the log stuff okay that's yeah that is all the stuff here so let me show you on that alarm thing um, let's go ahead and click on here and um, you notice how you've got your options indicator night vision uh, FHD or UHD for ultra high definition um, then full you can make it full screen of course of course it would put the it'll put the phone in in landscape mode if I do that so I don't want to do that right now I kind of don't know how it will react uh, because I'm actually doing this um, on my computer so <laughs> I'm actually utilizing my Android phone with my Windows 10 computer um, through what they have called phone link it's pretty awesome I, I, I really like it um, but anyway uh, for view activity zones that's what I was looking for click on that so oh and it went wide view and now you guys can't even see it so let me kick out of that hopefully it'll come back for you guys and it didn't 
Isn't that lovely? Okay, let me uh, let me try to fix this real quick so you guys can once again see it. I will try, try, try. Um, it brought that up. Let me try the other one. Nope. That one. Yes. Done. It's back. See? I, I did that right live. Wasn't that cool? Eh, not really. But I fixed it. So anyway, it's it's back on there. Let me quit clicking on screens so I don't mess more stuff up. So when I click that, what it essentially did is it will put it in uh, in in the landscape mode for me, and you guys can't see it at that point. Um, I can try it again, and I can try to reauthorize. Let me try that, and I'll try to reauthorize it, um, like I just did. I'll just do that again, and that should probably fix it yes it did okay so now you see it I'm not gonna move it um, I'm not gonna center it because then that's gonna throw the other screen off so just if you will bear with it so this is your zones right and I think um, reset okay yeah so if they were highlighted or you know if they were red that means that that zone is set. So in other words, right now, what I just did is I set the alarm zone for the front door. All right. And, you know, it works. This stuff does indeed work. Um, but it's just, it kind of is what it is. It's the same. I've got the exact same type of alarm system, alarm setup for my NVR system. And I don't use it because it would drive me nuts if I did. Only because, oh, there's things like leaves falling and stuff like that. So, when you use the feature like this type of alarm, you want to use it somewhere where there is not going to be movement unless, you know, it's movement that's not supposed to be there because it won't differentiate between a leaf, a shadow, a dog. It won't differentiate between that. So, you know, if it detects change movement or change in that particular sector that you have identified it is going to uh set off the alarm just so you know and uh and that's why i don't use it because well we've got blue we've got you know we walk through the hot you know but even in the middle of the night when we're in bed the blue still comes in here you know um at um at 5 30 in the morning uh we have lights that automatically come on in the living room and uh, and that would probably cause it to, to send out an event, send out an alarm. Uh, so I don't personally use it. If you choose to use it, that's on you and feel free to do so. By the way, that's still a live camera view. I'll stick my arm back there. I think it is. I stuck my arm back there and waved, but maybe it did. It might have froze just a, a still shot. I guess it did. I guess it did. Okay, so let me switch back, and it disappeared you again. Let me get that fixed. Well, not you, but it disappeared the camera. So let me get that fixed. Actually, all I got to do is bring it back up, and it's already right there. Cool. So, uh, I'm glad you got to see that. I'm glad I was able to show you that. Uh, and I don't have the alarm set up, but that is how you would set up the alarm if you wanted to. Of course, this would be, uh, I'm assuming, like, how to either turn on or off cloud or how to visit your cloud. I don't know. I can't, I can't tell because I don't have a cloud account. Uh, this is voice, basically. Now, I have it set up in the options, and I'll show you that. I have it set up in the options to record voice and video, you know, 24-7. If I click this, what it's going to do is allow me to hear what's going on, you know, from that camera's microphone uh, in whatever device I'm using. I'm not going to turn it on because it'll probably start feedbacking and I don't want to do that. Um, so, but if I turn it, if I did turn that on, if I was in another location, I could hear what is happening here since the, the you know, device is, hello, right up over there. So it's on a bookshelf. So I'm barely on the edge. So <laughs> you can, on the right hand side, you can barely see me over there waving, but uh, I'm over there. Blue's on the futon, if you can't tell. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Um, that's pretty good. And to be honest, I can't really complain about the, the picture that it's got. I, I really can't. Um, it, it seems to do pretty well. Uh, so, of course, you can rotate it. You can take a picture. You, if you've got multiple cameras, you can turn on the four views so you can see all the other cameras, you know. Uh, and I told you about the full screen. You can turn night vision off if you if you prefer to. And you can turn the lights off. That's what the indicator is. Because uh, there's lights on the back of the camera. And you can turn those off. So, um, I don't know if I... Okay, that's brightness, apparently. Apparently. I never noticed that before. And I'm not seeing a difference when I do that. And then this is start recording while we were recording. So, <laughs> Uh, recording time is short, recording is invalid. I think what that was, was like if I wanted just to record a clip like right now. But it's still recording the 24-7 stuff. Um, but if I was just recording just a, just a quick little clip, pretty sure that's what that function is for. Um, and again, I highly recommend the 24-7 recording because that, when, that way you've got it. Whatever it is, you've got it. I don't, you know, that's a security camera, um, and anything with security, you don't want to take a chance of missing what it is you're, you know, trying to use, this, or missing what you're trying to secure, I should say, um, because your device, for whatever reason, didn't pick up on it, or whatever. Um, I am an, a, a big advocate of, if it's a camera security system, Make sure it records 24-7. Don't, you know, don't take the chance of missing what it is that's going to help you. Um, okay, so let's continue on to the settings up here. And share device. You can share the device with other other people with accounts. Um, the device name, right? Mine's named Living Room. It was home. I changed it to Living Room because it's the Living Room. Uh, intelligence settings, and I'm not real sure. This is the this is your um, for your alarm that that detection. You can set the sensitivity. I haven't messed with it a whole lot, and the reason why is because I don't use those features, and um, and I don't know that a lot of people will um, to be real honest. Because you do get you do get false positives. That's the bad thing about it. Again. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not going to be one of these out there that tells you that, oh, everything blue skies and everything's great. No, nah, when it comes to these cheaper camera security systems, um, that alarm thing is, is kind of gimmicky at best. But that's not why you should be getting it, okay? Um, you got the other options of going with the popular brand names like, you know, Ring and stuff like that. But... You don't know how many eyes and ears are peeking in on that. That's what concerns me about that stuff, like Ring or the Google Home Security stuff or anything like that, because those systems are far too big, used by far too many people, and targeted by far too many hackers, okay? When you go to smaller systems like this, more independent type of systems, you really start lessening the chances that your security system is going to wind up your vulnerability. And believe me, it happens. You know how many people were hacking baby monitors? Yeah, pretty crazy stuff. So, um, just be careful and, and be mindful about what you do, what you allow to have access to what. It's, it's essentially what I'm saying. Um, my advice, if you're looking for a camera system, you know, if you want something that's like this, that's real easy to kind of set up and it's kind of standalone, this is a, this is a good device. No doubt. This is a good device. Uh, so we talked about the intelligence settings, the alarm. We don't have any of that set up. Um, SD card save video. This is for setting up your SD card stuff. As you can tell, I've got record video of voice. You know, record the audio. It's essentially, I got that turned on. The resolution I have set to the Ultra HD, which is the maximum. And, um, and you see the card there, the card status. 
As you notice, I do not have motion activated turned on, nor do I have a schedule set up, but I do have loop turned on, which is what I was telling you about. That will automatically, once it fills up that card, it automatically start recording over the oldest content on the card. That is awesome. And that alone sells me on this device. Because again, that's the type of recording that I will recommend that you do. 24-7 loop recording so you know that you've got whatever it is that you needed to get. Just my opinion. Um, and let's see, that is everything on that. Um, network. This is it. I'm not going to click on that because I think you can see the password and I'm not going to do it. Uh, <laughs> that, that's just the network. It's going to tell you what my Wi-Fi network is and I don't think the password's hidden. I think you can see it. And uh, no, thank you. Um, setup instruction. That should be obvious. Time. Password. Those should be obvious. Um, IP. That should be, uh, that's your IP, and you, and you can change that, I believe, on this one. Yeah, yeah, see, you can, uh, you can turn off automatic IP, and you can change it. So, pretty cool, huh? Uh, I thought so. I really did. I thought that was a nice little touch, um, that you can set, you can designate the IP. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, battery management, I don't honestly, oh, low battery shutdown, apparently I've got that turned on. Um, yeah, actually, I do remember that I, I checked to make sure that was on. Uh, firmware version, I'm going to tell you that. There's no update needed or anything right now, or else it would tell us. You can choose your TV color system. Of course, those are the changes, uh, or the differences. You've got close, and then PAL, and then NTSC. I just got close. Well, we are NTSC here, though, technically, in the United States. Um, and I think that is all of the options. That's it. That's it. Of course, you can un unbind the device. That's it. I just covered through, I mean, yeah, it's a 22-minute video. That's, that's a little bit of time, I guess. But, um, I just covered all of the stuff that is, uh, is in it. And, um, hopefully I was able to, to show you to the best of my ability about the, the device, there's not a lot of options, there's, but that's a good thing. Um, I am a strong advocate of keep it simple, stupid. And especially when it comes to security type of stuff and when it comes to items that you need to be reliable, you want it simple. Plan, I mean, it just to me, it's a given. It's like ultralight aircraft, Right. Uh, you keep them as simple as you can because every little thing that you do to complicate something is another failure point. And, uh, you know, an airplane's a little hard to pull off to the side of the air to fix, you know what I mean? So um, you got to be mindful of that stuff. So I am a big advocate of keeping it as simple as possible. And um, this camera certainly fits that bill. So... Seems to be a good price. Definitely a good price for what it provides. There is more content coming, folks. I've got battery test videos to make. I've got all kinds. And, and you know, of course, I'll make content showing you the quality that it records at. I'll probably be doing that here real soon. Um, because I can do that now, too, while I'm still waiting to find out how many... <laughs> How many days uh, will fit on that SD card? So, my apologies to Leosov for not getting more content out uh, more timely on this. But uh, your little device is impressing me. And uh, and it's a good thing that this testing is taking a while. Um, if I didn't like the device, I'd have been done testing it by now. And I would have let everybody know to run. That's not the case. That is not the case. This thing is pretty cool. I'll leave a link down there. You don't even have to use my affiliate link. It will be an affiliate link. Of course, I'll make a a, a tiny, tiny bit from it. Um, but uh, you, you can just put in Amazon Leosaw um, A18 Plus mini camera, and you're going to find it. But uh, I'll leave my affiliate link, anywho, 
down below in the description and in the first comment of the video. So far, I'm really liking this. I really, truly like it. It's very simple. It's very basic. But you know what? It works. And it works well. Shalom.